haven't done any watercolor painting, um, proper watercolor painting, in about two years. So I thought I would have a go at doing something, get myself sort of back into the swing of things, and I decided I'd use this autumn leaf. So the first thing that I'm doing is sketching it out, and I'm sketching out really, really lightly, super lightly, because watercolors are translucent. And so if you put on your pencil lines too thickly, they're going to show through, which can be good sometimes and can be the effect that you want. But I didn't want that too much here, so I'm just doing the bare minimum of pencil lines and I'm keeping them really quite broken, really quite um, light, not too heavy at all, so that they hopefully won't show up. So once it's drawn out, uh, the first thing that I'm doing is I'm laying down a basic wash over the entire thing. I haven't mixed this in advance like I normally would do, so I'm taking paint straight from the, um, the palette and I'm adding water as well with a size 6 brush. Uh, the reason that I'm using this light green is because the small veins that you can see in between the red areas on the leaf are a light green. So I'm laying down the light green wash first and then when I start painting the leaf red um, I can leave those small little delicate vein areas alone and just paint the red around them. So the idea was to let that green background dry before I added the red paint on top of the leaf. Um, but as you can see in a second, that didn't quite work out. And as I apply some of this red, I think it's like a red vermilion type color, it starts to sort of like bleed outwards and it didn't give me the nice crisp outline and edges that I was looking for. So sometimes you've just got to carry on painting. Uh, so what you can see me doing there is I'm adding cadmium red, which is a sort of warmer, brighter red, uh, to that particular section of the leaf. I know that as I continue to paint, I'm going to start going into areas of the, the paper that are bone dry. Um, so I'm not too worried. As you can see, this bit right next to it, where I'm adding some crimson right now, I'm getting much sharper edges, and the paint is not sort of um, diffusing away. It's not spreading. It's not... Uh, flooding away. It's staying nice and crisp where I want it to. So I just continue to add combinations of alzarin crimson and cadmium red to this particular section. I'm letting them blend together. I'm trying to uh, get a good balance between the amount of paint and amount of water that I'm using with this side 3 brush. Uh, and I'm looking forward to the point where I'll be able to start showing some of those delicate veins. You can see just one that I've put in there at the moment, painting the red on top of the green. And for some of the darker areas, I use a bit of brown, I use burnt umber and raw umber together to try and get some of these darker shadows. I'm trying to suggest that the leaves are three-dimensional. finished the leaf and then I decided that it looked too dark in places um, so I decided what I was going to do is I was going to blot out some of the um, the color some of the watercolor I'd already put on 
and I do this just by putting a bit of water on, brushing it back and forth just so it starts to mix with the paint that's already on the surface of the paper and then as you can see I just go in with a bit of tissue paper and I blot it fairly hard, you know I'm pressing down fairly hard so I absorb any of the paint and any of the water that I've just put on and that just gave me a bit of a light area where I needed it which is basically up the middle of the leaf uh, because that's where the light was catching it. So there you go, that's the finished piece, autumn leaf in watercolour. If I did it again, I would probably try and use a bit more water and a little bit less paint. If you enjoyed that or you just found it useful, uh, then please don't forget to subscribe, like, or watch any of my previous videos on my YouTube channel where I work with a range of media like markers, watercolour, inks, and all sorts. Thanks.